Hi friends, hello everyone. Namaskara. Once again, welcome back to our channel. This video is particularly for Karnataka. How to search, apply, and get encumbrance certificate online for your property? We had already posted a video one and a half year back for encumbrance certificate, but this is the latest 2021 methods. There are a lot of changes made. You have to ease in your application now. I will show how it is. I will also show you how, how to handle if a payment is failed, when to pay. All these things will be covered. So please carefully watch this video. Before starting, I would like to say you please do these methods only from a computer, laptop or la PC. Please do not try from mobile because mobile has a lot of issues. I will show you that also because I had tried from mobile. Now what you have to do open a Google search page and in that you can search for uh, Kaveri online. This is the single string you have to search for as you can see on the screen Kaveri online. And after that just open Kaveri online.karnataka.gov.in. This is the URL you are going to click. And I have already made my credentials, username and password. You can click the above link video if you wanted to know how to register. I have already done. I'm not going to do here. I'm entering my username, password and after that CAPTCHA and click on login button. Let us make it quick. I think you have already registered. Okay. So uh, there was a change here in 2021. There is an OTP made. Previously this OTP was not there. It was just username and password. Now you have to enter CAPTCHA and after that an OTP will come in your mobile like this and you have to enter OTP also. This is the latest change in 2021. And as you can see here you click on login after entering the OTP and the Kaveri online portal will be logged in and after that we are going to apply for encumbrance certificate for getting your sale deed copy and all i have another video you can watch those video and in this under services click on online ec this is the option you are going to click online encumbrance certificate and as you can see here it comes up now you have to search you have two options property by number property party name i am uh, uh, publishing another video which will show you how to make your search effective but in this video let us search by party number property number from when to when you need uh, your encumbrance certificate property details district village all these things you can uh, search it as per your previous encumbrance certificate or sale deed property type is very important for example, in this case, it's an apartment, APT number means if it is some plot or uh, individual house, you have to give accordingly. And after that, you have to give your property number. If it is your flat, it will be your flat number. And you have to mention it as non-agricultural property because it should be a non-agricultural property. And after that, boundaries of your property, uh, whatever mentioned in your sale deed or in your previous encumbrance certificate, please refer that. You don't need to do any additional property details. You have to give the unit of measurement so in square feet or square meter. You can give I am uh, giving it square feet 1710 is my property details. So you can omit these two things like extra measurement. You can omit it. Now this is very, very important. Always select the last option because you can view and sign the document before signing. You can view it. If you select the first option, you can't view it. You can only sign it. You might sign a wrong copy so please select the third option only and after here enter the captcha and click on search button now you are just searching your property uh, you can watch my another video for search now if there is an uh, plug is plugin is not installed you get something like this it says plugin is not installed in computer you may not face this problem okay so that's why always try in computer in my mobile i just clicked in here i clicked that option of uh, installing plugin it was acrobat pdf plugin i just installed it and i click on open now i just in installed it but i have to research okay i have to research the property i have given all the property details again and i'm clicking on uh, search again okay now since i have installed that plugin you can see here my property details have come click on open and verify do not pay do not proceed until unless you open and verify i have a lot of comments in the previous video saying that sir i have paid but nothing is visible so please do not pay anything after such click on open and verify that it is the easy it is the document you are looking for otherwise you are paying for someone else now you click on here open uh, it was not working on my uh, 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 mobile i just tried in pc and it worked 
and I verified it is my EC. After that, you click on click the uh, uh, shown result is mine. Enter this text and click on uh, proceed button. Click on the button and click on proceed button. And there is a view timeline. Now it will not work. You can check it later. Let us leave it now. Scroll down. So you have searched for your property. You can see here from two, and you are going to pay one thirty rupees. This is the charge. So after search, now second option is click for e-payment. You are going to pay online one thirty rupees. You can click on the click for e-payment button. So as you can see here, again one more pop-up comes up. You can click on I agree to pay and click on proceed to pay. And the charge breakups are shown: ten rupees and one twenty rupees search fee and search application fee, whatever it is, one thirty rupees you have to pay. And after that, one more pop-up comes, and you have you can click on proceed to pay here again, and it will again go back. It's a confusing uh, pages, but uh, this is how it is. Now again, you have to click here make payment button. Okay, this is some repetition of the screen, and this is what it happens also when you search. Now again, it is told one thirty rupees you have to pay, and in between it again logged out. So these are the problems. I just wanted to show you. Don't panic or don't get disappointed. Don't worry. Your session expired, but all your work will be saved until the payment because payment was not made. What you can do? Again, I have logged in back to Kaveri Online, and now this time. Just click on saved applications. Do not click on online EC again because your search will be saved. Click on saved applications. If a logged out happened before payment, if it happened after payment, you can click on here also pending uh, or failed uh, payments. But always the best option is go with uh, saved applications. Okay. So now what you can do is when I click on saved application, you can see all your application, not only this application. If you have made some application in the previous years, that is also visible. Here you have to search the service type correctly, otherwise nothing will be visible. You have to select online EC application because you were uh, trying an online EC application. Once you can see here, all your uh, listed uh, searches will be listed here. All your previous you can see here. Uh, as per application date, and this is from top to bottom. Bottom will be the latest. So I just scroll down to the latest. And if you have one more pages, if you are not finding it here, that means it is in the next page. So you can see here there is a next option and second page option. Click here. So if you have multiple application, only this problem. Otherwise, you can find it in the first page itself. Now, uh, before completing the payment, you have to find out which was the last uh, last application you were making. So, in my case, this is the last. Okay, I made twenty second on eight pm. So, this is the latest. So, once you confirm that, click on this folder option here. Okay, do not confuse with anything else. Do not click on any other folder because you end up applying for a wrong EC. Now, you are retrieving the application. Uh, you are getting back the saved application. Click on the folder icon. And all your previous things are loaded again. That means your search was saved. Okay, you don't need to worry about. But you are going to pay again. You are going to try to pay again. But please try from a, your computer. Okay, do not try from mobile. Now I come back here again. In my case, payment was not done. Again, I'm going to click on click uh, for payment button here. And you, as you can see here, again it is loaded. The payment option is loaded here. One thirty rupees. I am going to try again payment. Previously it was failed, so I just retrieved retrieved my application and trying only the payment part again. Click on proceed to payment here. You have different options. I will show you. See again the screen has come up. Now this time click for make payment. So this is the end of that. You are going to uh, really going to make the payment. See you got the message. Are you really wanted to pay? Click on OK button. Try all these things on a working day better. Okay, uh, this is the problem again. I was facing. Then I found out that I was trying on a Sunday. Please don't try it on a uh, non-working or holiday. During official working hours, you try the payment. Otherwise, it may fail. Don't try on a Sunday. Okay, try on a working day, uh, 10 to 6. Not after working hours, also not at rest. Especially the paying part. So I just uh, re-clicked and retried the payment. I will show you what is the difference when I tried multiple times. It didn't work on a work uh, holiday, and I am trying uh, for a working day because this is some treasury-linked payment to Karnataka, and maybe it's operational only on working days. 
so i click on again uh, make payment button this is the process i was repeating i showed you why two things failed because one time i didn't try from computer and another was a holiday now i am succeeding you can see here i was trying on a working day and this is working fine automatically it went to the kajane uh, website and the, here you can select your option net banking neft a lot of options are there i just select net banking it was the easiest one uh, you can for upi you also you can select now net banking no issues please select the net banking option after that select sbi epay don't worry you can pay through any bank don't worry confuse about sbi epay uh, this thing it's a, just a gateway after click, uh, accepting all the conditions entering the captcha click on proceed and you can see here it will go to sbi epay but here you can uh, do the payment through other method also if you scroll down you can see here a card is possible uh, internet banking bhim upi even google pay bhim upi is possible now i am going to try to internet banking just click on internet banking here and after that you can select your bank here okay so please select your bank a lot of banks are available see here so that doesn't mean you selected sbi epay and you have to pay only through sbi you can select any of the bank here okay so please follow this payment method it worked well so please follow this and here you can select your bank if you select icici hdfc whatever its page come up i selected contact so it the contact page come up i have paid it already i'm not showing the payment things see as you can see here transaction receipt has come up so my payment was success money amount got dedi uh, deducted and as you can see here if i scroll down uh, my uh, view payment details uh, has come up now you click here to verify your payment was success this is just to verify because the payment receipt has come but i'm just showing you in between if payment pay failed or something you can go here see in my case first payment uh, payment was failed but second was success so both are captured here so in first case money was not deducted if you got deducted you can get it back let me know and you can see here uh, the success uh, part has come up second payment was success so i don't need to worry about anything so after payment what is the uh, now you can refresh payment status here and if any payment failure comes you can click on this additional chalan details it will show you additional payment failed chalan details in my case it is success so i again click on view application details from the payment page okay you have to click here go back to application page and now payment is done and second major process is send for e-sign this was introduced in 2021 previously it was not there i remember so now you have to e-sign your application using your aadhar okay so that means you search the ec you are going to sign it saying that i am signing my application enter your aadhar number it's not mandatory that property owner's aadhar has to be there you can enter your aadhar also you can get no problem any aadhar will do but Uh, the OTP goes to the mobile link to the Aadhar, so it should not be that Aadhar of owner of the property has to be given. It's not mandatory. Now I enter the OTP here. I click on submit button after uh, enabling the checkpoint, and I click on uh, submit. And I have seen that when you do from PC, this also had failed. Sorry, from mobile it failed. So I tried from PC and it succeeded. Okay, so please please try. if no response from mobile is coming and in uh, computer also no response you can try later okay but don't pay again only e sign it people do mistake again go and pay don't do multiple payment once you see payment is success never ever pay again just go try only the send for e sign part if you pay multiple your money is getting lost and that's a huge amount 130 rupees is going you can try again from a computer now my sign in was success when i tried this process from the computer okay e sign is success it will just show you a message e sign is success i am coming back after logging in saved application now so now our uh, process are almost done again still one more major process to go i will show you how it is okay in my payment i was checking my payment failure but payment is success so i don't need to worry anything about payment So what are the things we have done? We have payment is successfully done. First pay, uh, first method was payment is done. Major uh, methods I would say, and second was the uh, e-signing process. As you can see, I have done it. That's why you can download your e-signed copy here. So what is the copy you have signed or uh, signed with Aadhaar? You can download here using the download e-signed button. Okay. 
for your reference you can download and keep it that means which what is you had submitted for a digital signing it's your reference just download the e signed pdf and keep it you can verify also you can see here this is application form to the sub registrar and all the other things of your property which property from when to when you are uh, asking for ec so this is basically your signed application using aadhar okay and period will be correctly mentioned here and to which sro or uh, which property details measurement uh, what you have submitted ec for will be shown here okay so now what is the third major process is submit okay paid and e signed now you have to click on submit button that you have not yet done so just this is the th third major step click on the submit button here this is very simple you can just click and submit that's it nothing more you have to do you can just you get an application a number this is very very important uh, friends please keep this number okay this number will be there saved in your application but still uh, you note down this number this is the application id using which uh, you are going to uh, what do you say like refer the ec okay click on okay okay this is the application number you would have gotten message also sms also like this in that application number will not be there but your reference number will be there okay sakala number will not be there okay again i am loading now let us see application is done so let us wait one or two days and keep checking your status daily basis okay what you have to do log into the kaveri online portal go under saved applications and I, as i can show you uh, uh, service type you select as online ec application the second option okay and after that you can uh, check it any time uh, whenever you feel or remember and now you go to the application which was submitted in my case second page you can see here only for that application there is a number came all the other application it says not available this is the first step ec application submitted okay check this status daily now first time when you submit it will be like this that just says ec submitted i am checking after two days it is changed ec preparator signed and uploaded it is not yet ready to download many users get confused here it says uploaded i am not able to download don't worry it is not yet ready it is still it is still saying ec preparator signed and uploaded but it is not ready for you to upload after two weeks only it changed the status like this for me ec certificate signed and uploaded here you can any time you can click on this icon and check the status so once it says ec certificate is signed and uploaded click on the folder icon otherwise also you can go inside the folder icon and check the status complete status you can see here if you click on uh, view timeline it will show you from where it is going till how much time it takes and stuff but usually two weeks plus it takes and scroll down this is not the place you are going to download don't get confused again this is the download e signed pdf that means your application it is not the ec you have to scroll down still this is your copy of your application you submitted digitally said this is the place you are going to solve the problem download signed ec report okay so after that daily you can check this once it is ready you can click on the folder and come here scroll down at the end and click on download ec signed ec report it might take some time you can see here it is downloaded your property all the details are properly given here okay so this is the digitally signed and all the details are here you can see here digital signature this is equal to your manual seal and sign maybe more than that because as you can see here if you scroll down till end of the video three officers has signed it you can see three question marks here see here this is what i uh, each page will be having the e signature and as you can see here uh, three officers has signed okay that means as you can see you can read the officers names here one officer has signed second officer third officer three officers has signed your ec digitally so this is good to go thank you so much for watching this uh, lengthy video but if you follow all the steps i'm sure you will make it properly i will publish another video which will show you how to search effectively the ec because most of the people are facing problem in searching the ec thank you so much if you like the video kindly give us a likes like to this also please subscribe to our channel